Premature ventricular contractions PVCs, also called premature ventricular beats or ventricular extrasystoles, are common in healthy populations. Prevalence is 1% in a regular ECG but up to 80% in a 24-hour ambulatory ECG. Prevalence increases with age. Palpitations are the most common symptom. But the majority of patients have no symptoms. Risk factors are hypertension, ischemic heart disease, cardiomyopathy, congenital heart disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, sleep apnea, hyperthyroidism, smoking, and alcohol. Evaluation is by ECG test and sometimes echocardiogram. Less than 500 BPB per 24 hours is generally considered normal. High PVC burden is a predictor of complications such as cardiomyopathy, heart failure, and life-risking arrhythmias, therefore requires more aggressive therapy. Management depends on PVC burden, morphology, underlying heart disease, a family history of sudden cardiac death, and patient symptoms. But most patients are low risk and no treatment is required. PVC burden is classified as the percentage of PVC per day. Treatment is by Beta blockers such as metaprolol, lopressor, and carbidilol, coreg. Calcium channel blockers such as diltiazem, cardizem, and verapamil, virilun. Antiarrhythmic drugs such as amiodaron, pacer-1, renalazine, renexa, flecainide, tambacor, and propafenone, rhythmol. Catheter ablation is an option for permanent PVC elimination. Very high-risk patients might need implantable cardioverter defibrillator. Whether PVCs increases mortality is debatable. While studies show no risk, another study demonstrated increased risk with high-burden PVCs. PVCs also increase future stroke and heart failure risk.